in, in this realm, uh, do you have a, uh, any specific suggestions to authors who are not used to interacting with Western journals as to a, an appropriate approach in, in doing so? And by approach, you mean just the, the, the what, way... What they really need to do in their submission package to okay. really have a... Um, to really get the editor's attention. The cover letter is interesting. And often, uh, the any, any, any opportunity, online or on paper, to tell the editor up front why you are submitting to his his or her journal. That's well, the reason you're... Is, is very important. And often we overlook it as authors. But it's often the, the first hint to the editor that, oh, this may be of interest to us. He's picking us because of X, Y, or Z, whatever reason that, that they give. Tell them why you picked their journal, why you are interested in having it published there. What's so significant about it, the work? And this is where authors really have to hone in on the fine details and pull out something. This is at the stage where the editor is not going to be reading the paper yet. Mm -hmm. Just a quick look, and this may set the whole stage to whether they, 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 they send the manuscript on for further review or whether they dismiss it out of hand. Okay. Yeah. So let's, let's, uh, let's uh, save that for, sure. the, for the next segment, and, uh, and we'll uh, really delve into that. Uh, clearly from an English second language, non-native English, uh, non English speaking person who is submitting the paper, uh, what are your suggestions to them as to what they need to do to really have a chance in getting through peer review? The manuscript has got to be clean. It's got to be clear. It's got to be concise. Um, it has to be in, in good English uh, for most journals that we're talking about. Um, uh, referees' times are very valuable. They're busy. They're, they're, they're asked by editors from journals all over the world to review papers. They only have a limited amount of time. You look for things that won't aggravate them. Typos aggravate them. Ungrammatical constructions aggravate them. Saying something that's not clear aggravates them. Uh, yes, we all have referees that we use that are very patient. We'll help students, for example, to, to, to almost rewrite a manuscript. But those days are probably uh, few and far between these days. In these times. So one has to get the manuscript in as good a shape as possible. So the emphasis is really on the author these days Very much. to make sure that the paper is uh, is to be well received That's and right. that they've done all due diligence so that the journal, quite honestly, doesn't have to think about the uh, superficial nature of the paper and just has to concentrate on the That's science. Right. And because often you, you get to a point where even if it's pretty well written, clarity often... You, means that you can, or lack of clarity means that you can't understand where something's going. And yes, we can all ask questions about that, but the fewer those questions, uh, the fewer questions that come up, the better you are uh, off. So I would suggest that uh, uh, writers, authors who are, whose first language is not English, get some colleagues um, in the field if they can, after, after they've done the, the best job they can, maybe using a service like your service or others to help them do things, have a colleague who understands both the science and is for, whose first language may be English, if that's possible, look at the manuscript and really critically look at it, not just as a, uh, you know, we all pass manuscripts to friends and say, oh, that's fine, but what we really want is a good critical review. Okay. Does this pass muster?